hello it's Sarah and if you just watched my previous video I got this Hampton Art um, stamp set today at um, Hobby Lobby and I want to try stamping it onto clay so I've rolled out you know what yeah I mean I'm thinking about cutting it down into tiles when I finish I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to leave this one in ATC. So I'm going to leave. This is probably like about a five on my pasta machine. Um, I'm going to use stays on ink, a permanent ink. And I'm going to stamp, ink up my stamp, and I'm going to stamp it onto this white clay. And I'm using Primo, Sculpey Primo. I don't want to miss any lines. This is a pretty new stamp pad, so it should be nice and juicy oh my gosh it's so cute it's like um, a entangled design oopsie I think I moved it I'm just gonna give some gentle pressure I don't really want to make the impression into the clay as much as I just want to get the lines look it did it I love it um, so this one I'm going to just use mica powders and I'm going to paint in. Maybe I'll just follow along with this little, um, they give you a color guide actually, which is awesome. I'm going to pull it up and maybe I'll cut it out. Three and a half by two and a half is actually uh, the size of an ATC. And it's right about that. It's a tad bigger just a tad bigger so I'm going to take my blade and cut it out I'm going to cut it just over the line so I'm cutting off a little bit of the design but that's okay and um, I was thinking of painting as well painting one so the other one has a little bit of a smaller pattern to it it's this little um, there's some heart flowers so maybe I could cut that one up so I might bake stamp it first and bake it and then paint it when it um, after it's baked but this I want to do while it's raw on the raw clay and you know what I should be putting it on um, a little tile because oops excuse me because I like to move it I actually don't need well it's just noisy and I wish I had a really like um, pointy brush but this is pretty good um, let's see what happens of course I'm gonna do some green on my leaves let's just maybe that's not very bright is it or dark I should say it's bright um, I have other color green too so I could do um, a couple different colors like if I I should have just done the tips in this bright green and do a darker green at the bottom and make it look a little shaded. Oops, I did the bottom. There. It's all right. They're going to be just hit and miss. Maybe I'll put this is a leaf. Yeah. So I'm very into the clay at the moment. Um, I saw another great tutorial last night. Well. It was Angela Venable, and I don't know, I guess she's changed her um, YouTube channel, but oh look, there's a tiny little um, ladybug. Um, I'm going to do my birdie blue. Anywho, she did a, a, a mermaid's tail. So all this kind of fantasy stuff. Last night I was, wa I was looking at dragon videos. And, you know, I don't really want to make my birdie blue. I kind of want to make my sky blue. Um, 
like a lot of fantasy stuff is going. I want to do some more dragon's eyes, but I saw also Callie. Um, what is her YouTube channel? Oh my gosh, it's just one out of my head. She did a, like a um for the hashtag event, the fantasy art. She made like a gargoyle dragon, a gar dragon or a a dragoyle. I forget what she called it. And she did this um, wing armature and stuff. So I was watching because that's what um, Angela did with her mermaid. She made like a, a wire armature and then wrapped the clay around it. So there is still so much that I haven't tried with polymer clay. And that excites me because I don't know, sometimes I feel like when I've tried everything, it's not that I'm bored, but I think it's just more exciting when I'm learning something new or trying something new. Because um, I guess I get bored with doing the same thing over and over. Um, and so that's why I switch around as well. And I'm not just going to do polymer clay only. Then I'll come back. I'll go back to um, art journaling after a bit and then when I come back to the clay it's exciting again you know so this is basically just coloring the way um, I would I mean I could use oh man I'll bet you I could have used sharpies on here those market pens which I don't have or even I don't know I would say the sharpies would be great um, what else I'm gonna do some purple and some pink flowers. I have yellow. These are um, perfect pearls, but I also have the other ones which are called um, Pearl X. So I definitely have a yellow. I have a lot of these. Um, actually, Callie sent me a couple of these colors because I had sent her some uh, and that's a pretty blue. Sorry, I should have had my colors ready, but I know I have a yellow. Here it is. No, that's gold. Um, Jeez. I'll bet you it's in my drawer because I don't see it. So why can't I have gold um, flower centers? Nobody says I can't. I kind of don't want to fill in the whole thing because um, I might be able to still put another color. I have red, don't I? So many colors and it, you know, you have so many, you can't even. This is called blue russet, but it is totally not blue. I cannot believe that I can't find the yellow. Oh, it's right here. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful with these because if they are very fine powders. Just seeing if I can go over. That is so bright. I kind of want the butterfly to be that. Then, what about, this one's called Duo Green Purple. I want this green. This is called Duo Green Yellow. This one's called Spring Green. I'm just going to do this for the, um, the dark part of the leaves. We'll see if it actually... Hopefully, the mica powder only sticks where I haven't put it yet. Because, like, where I already put it, it's, um, the clay isn't sticky. I mean, I don't know. It may still stick, but I'm trying to use this as shading. 
and only putting it in the darker areas. But if the other color hit the clay first, it may not even adhere. It seems to be. So I think that's all my leaves. I'm going to do the berries. I want to do the berries like a coarse red, but I don't seem to have one. So this is called, I don't know why, blue russet. And it does not look blue. It certainly does look red. Ooh, like a burgundy. There's a lot of berries in my in the shot. So after this, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna catch up on my mixed media morsels. Because I'm about three behind. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a series that Cat Hand is doing on YouTube. And it's just a little tiny mixed media journal, and she's doing techniques, just different techniques, um, mixed media techniques, and it's in a little tiny, where is mine? I have it somewhere here. I'm, I think I'm going to label it, but this is my little mixed media morsels journal. Um, but I have to catch up on that. And I have, I just, if you guys saw the other video I was just talking about, I just got some more votive, votives that I want to make some more, um, I may not just do them all fairy doors and stuff. I may decorate them in other ways so that um, I want to do purple flowers. Um, I might do just like a whole votive with um, the embroidery technique on it, which I've done. Basically, I, I did those little tiny bottles of hope um, it's the little flowers that I do with a toothpick I make them with a toothpick and so I was thinking I could do something like that on a votive cut out some holes so is this looking good I don't know. I think I'd rather paint it. I Maybe I will, after I bake this, I could come back with some paint and shade. That's what I should do. Because it would look so 3D if I did that. I think I'm going to do that. But it's looking pretty cool. Right? You see all that shimmer? What do I want to do for my bird? See, it's hard to get in there and do the bird. This is salmon. That's such a pretty color. But I want to use pink. Um, this is purple. I'm going to do my little birdie like a couple areas. Don't we all see the pink bird out there all the time? I mean, they really colored it in. Um, I could put a little pink around the center. Sorry, I don't mean to whisper. <laughs> I think I forgot I was filming for a minute. Because, you know. I talk to myself fine. It looks kind of good. Adding the two tone effect. My son is making us pizza. Is it ready? Oh, thank you. I'll have more than one piece. Oh, where are I? I thought you didn't even want. <laughs> he talked me into it. We like the freshetta pizza. I don't know if you guys have ever had freshetta, 
but it's so good. The four cheese pizza. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Mama. Very much. Wet Nap Nation, yeah. right? Mm. Wet Nap Nation. Thank you. That's very good. Um, I think I'm going to put some different colored blues in there. Alright, so I'm going to go away and come back when it's all baked. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so I, of course, I didn't bake it yet. But I decided to get out the Inca Gold, or the, yeah, what are these called? Inca Gold by Viva. They are fast drying metal gloss paint. So I've added, because it's easy, you just wet it down. So I'm going to use this orange right now. I've got a little water on my brush, and I'm just rubbing it in there, getting a little bit on my brush. And. I'm going to put some of this on my birdie. So, it's already got some orange mica powder on it, but I just figured I'd do a little with this. Maybe the little spots on his belly. Because it's easier to control and get into those nooks and crannies with the smaller brush. So I did it on... I did mica powders, but then I just hit it with the Inca Gold. I used the, my red. The reason I got it out was because I did my little butter, I mean my ladybug red. And I also added a little bit to the berries to kind of make them look dimensional. So what color do I have that I could use for the branches? I have, this is a bronze, oh a copper. Let's do copper for the branches. So same thing, I just kind of, this one isn't very um, moist. Some of them are um, more wet than others, but I want to do the branch. Good color for a branch, right? <clears throat> this one actually looks a little moldy. It has, they do get moldy. You'll see, ooh, I'll put some of this here. I don't know why. I already had mica powders there, so I don't even know if this will adhere, like what, what's gonna happen to it after I bake it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just um, playing right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm not creating with intention, well, I am, but it's not like serious. I can just play and see what happens. Ooh, I missed a little berry there. So that looks like branches, right? It's coming, it's getting cute. I like that there's like dark sections and light sections. I want to do with the ring around the flower, and that's about it. I think I'm going to, I have a pink, but it's a very soft pink. I have purple too. Maybe I should do, but I'm going to try the pink. It's called Rose, Rose Quartz. So let's see what color. It may be just like a, a very sheer or a not very opaque. So it might not even show up. Oh, it is. I mean, it's definitely a different consistency than the powder is. So I think it it's showing up because it's like in a different form. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. And then I have red because I missed one little berry. One little berry is right under here. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna bake. Although I could go around the outside edge with something. See how I did it with teal? Probably like gold or something. All right, and then I'm gonna bake it and we'll just see what it looks like. All right, I'll be back. All right, <laughs> I decided to cut the, uh, I did it twice more. I printed them both out and I cut them into pieces. 
and I'm going to bake them and then I'm going to paint them on the raw, no, 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 on the cooked clay. And I think I'm going to cut this up too. I just feel like it, I don't know, because I don't think I'm going to use this as an ATC. I think I would tend to use it as a tile. So that's why I'm cutting it into pieces. You see, and then look, I can go like that and have a little birdie tile. And so that's what I'm going to do. All right, now I'm going to bake them. Okay, I'm back. I have to tell you guys, this took me like two hours. My back hurts. I'm tired. I'm bitching today. No. Um, and I absolutely prefer the mica powder ones. So this is the one that I did that you guys watched me do. And I ended up adding a little bit of the Inca Gold with the um, paintbrush. But I absolutely love it. And then I just put a little bit of gold paint around the outside edges. But I love these. I think they turned out very sweet and very sheer. And you can still see the lines from the stamping which I really like. Like, look at that one. That is just really cool. So I'm not going to add anything to them. I'm just going to leave them. Um, the ones that I painted, I don't know. I just, I think it's the way the blue turned out in the background. So this is one of the cards. And I, I did cut off a piece up there. It just kind of looked empty. Uh... And I don't love this one. Like, I just don't love them at all. I painted them, but then I came back and added um, some pearl paints. I mean, some of them don't look bad, you know. Um, but I was thinking, of course, I haven't done stickles. So I think I'm going to add some stickles to a few of them. Uh, I kind of like this guy, though. I mean, he's super cute, right? Let's just add some stickles, and guess what? It improves it right away. Oh my gosh. It totally, it makes it so much prettier. I have to put them to dry, but let's try it again. Put a little bit, and this happens to be called Stardust. That's one of my favorites because it's a very um, fine glitter that's in the bottle or in the, in the glue. And OMG, I... I don't know what happens to it. Like, let's see what this, what it does to this, because this is already really um, metallic. It, it just improves it, makes it better. I also used, um, on these, instead of paint, I have a, uh, a gold leafing pen. I forgot about that, but I used to do this to all my... Um, uh, tiles, my, my, my tiles that I make. Let's see what the birdie looks like. Oh my god. I'm not going to do anything to the mica powder ones because I, I think that look is in itself a different, I'll show you the difference. But wow, that looks so cute. Alright, so I'm going to end up <laughs> covering these with stickles and I think it's gonna make me happier like right away look at the difference can you see that I don't know what it is but all of a sudden I don't know maybe I'm just being hard on myself but I really like these the way these shine I don't want to add the stickles to these I'm gonna leave these with just that the mica powders because this is completely done with mica powder so I'll probably do more of them and guess what? The mica powders took way quicker to do. All this painting, man, it took me forever to do the painting. Um, so, and I'm, I am for quick. Listen, I can't make, what did I make? Ten tiles and it took two hours? Like, that's ridiculous, you know? Um, oh my God. They look gorgeous with the stickles, though. Oh man, I just happen to look. To love stickles though and I get most of my stickles at Michael's and he's more I mean I've gotten a lot over time when I go in they they'll have it from time to time different colors of stickles 
And stickles is just like glitter glue. So it's basically using glitter, but it's already got the glue included. So you're, you're, you know, you're good to go. Oh man, this is so pretty with the stickles. I wonder what this one's going to look like with stickles. And yeah, there's different size glitter in some of the um, bottles. And you can actually see it on some. Like that helped. Actually, that helped. Like I would use that now where I, I probably wouldn't have used it before. Um, let me look. So this is called Crystal. And they both have a fine glitter in them. There's one diamond. Now that's a fine glitter. A lot of them do have a fine glitter, but like there was one or two that uh, of the clears because there's so many clears that are called different things. Icicle, this one. I think this one has a fatter glitter in it or actually that it may have like this has clear glitter and this has like greenish looking glitter. So anyway, it, it's all good stuff. So I'm going to, I'll go away and do all that and then give you, well, that's it. That's all we need to see. All right. But then I also did, um, stamp these out. This is the two big cards and actually I baked, um, I did just bake some tiles. I forgot about them. They're in the oven of the other, the other stamps from the stamp set. There's a heart, some bugs. So I stamped them into clay so I'd have little tiny ones. So I'll do them too. Um, but yeah, so that's what they look like. And that's it, you guys. Boy, that took up my whole afternoon. I'm going to go relax for a little bit now. But man, that looks good with the stickles on it, doesn't it? OMG, I can't believe it. It's so bright. So that's painted on white polymer clay, all right? There is so much you can do with polymer clay. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.